G'day, Jason Belmonte here uh, for Bowling by Jason Belmonte. And today I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about the four different playing styles that you can use in the game, some of the pros and cons, and their limitations uh, to each of the styles. So the very first style uh, that I'm going to show you is the very first style that you have access to in the game, and that is the stroker style. If I touch the ball here, you'll be able to see that the range and limitations of a stroker style are very limited. Uh, our RPMs maximum, uh, our axis rotation, and our axis tilt all have the lowest parameters of any of the styles. However, this isn't necessarily bad news. Uh, sometimes using a more straighter delivery can keep you out of trouble. So typically you would use um, a straighter line of the pocket on a more difficult oil pattern, allowing you to be a bit more consistent, hit the pocket a little bit more often, and kind of keep away from the nasty splits and what have you. So I'm going to try and throw a stroker style right now to show you that the ball is going to rotate rather slowly and you're going to have a more of a down and in shape to the ball. Now I'm not typically a stroker player so forgive me if these shots are terrible. Okay, well we went Brooklyn but you can see what I'm, talk what I'm talking about. The ball goes really straight, there's not too many rotations on the ball and the point of it is just to kind of keep it in play, make it a little bit more controlled. Uh, the next style that you're going to see is the tweener, which is the next style up. And you can progress to each of these different uh, playing styles as you level up into the game and unlock each style. And within each style, you also have the ability to increase your parameters slightly to a higher maximum. Uh, so here we have the tweener. As you can see, I've now unlocked most, or actually all of the tweener's capabilities, which gives me a maximum RPM of 350 RPM. My axis rotation can go all the way from 0 to 60 degrees, and my axis tilt can go 0 to 40 degrees. So I have a really nice range here for the tweener, and you'll notice that there'll be a significant difference in ball shape. So I'm gonna try and execute a shot here. Pretty good shot. So what we're going to see with the tweener and when you would probably best use this is when you need to create just a small amount of curve. Again, leaning more towards the more difficult oil patterns. However, uh, if you do get lined up on a easier oil pattern, because it has just that right amount of curve, you can still put up a couple of really big games. The next style that you see is the cranker style, another one-handed delivery, and we have a look at its capabilities. Our RPM levels now have gone all the way up to 500 RPM. We can increase our axis rotation all the way to 70 degrees if we want, and we can also change our axis tilt all the way to 70 degrees if we chose. So it has a lot more capabilities, and usually with uh, more rev rate, um, you also get a little bit more power. So if we try and find a line here, you can see I'm progressively moving further into the middle part of the lane because the ball with the rev rate and the axis rotation is now allowed to curve a little more, it gives the ball an option to curve. So I'm gonna try and throw a shot here, throwing it way to the right and not quite enough hook. So I'm gonna try and get this spare, which won't be easy, but I'm gonna try. Not quite. So with the higher RPMs, I'm able to, oh, that's a really bad delivery, my bad. You're able to curve the ball a lot more, which allows you to generate a little bit more power into the pins, knocking them over uh, and getting really high scores. Typically, the higher the rev rate, the more power that you get, the easier the oil pattern you'd really want to be throwing the ball on. That was a better shot. Um, so that's our, croak, uh, our cranker style, and then the final style is two-handed, which I tend to play all the time. <laughs> and as you can see, that my RPM maximum has gone all the way up to 600 RPM. I can now change my axis rotation all the way to 90 degrees if I chose. I can also increase my tilt all the way to 90 degrees if I would like. And each of these changes is going to make the bowling ball do something just a little bit different. Uh, so as you play the game and you kind of experiment with different positions, um, we call them hand positions because essentially that's the way you're letting the ball go. But as you're changing these parameters, the ball will also change the way it rolls down the lane, how much curve it has, when it curves, does it start to curve sooner or later, 
Um, so it's kind of fun just to muck around with a little bit. But I'll throw a two-handed delivery here. And as you can see, I've moved even further to the inside part of the lane. And I've thrown that a little further to the right. And it hooks all the way back. So been that the two-handed style does have the highest rev rate in the game, you're going to find that when it hits the pocket, you're going to get the most strikes. You are going to carry a lot of those off hits. Uh, if you miss the pocket, though, it's going to cause you a lot of trouble, which you just saw right there. So again, I've just missed it a little bit to the right, and I left a nasty split. But when I get it right, this ball is going to strike nearly every single time. There's that pin action that the two-handers get. So that's basically, in a nutshell, uh, what the four styles of play are used for. Now that fifth ball you see on the rack, that's my spare ball. And what I've done here is I've been able to manipulate that ball where I've decreased the RPM, I've decreased the axis rotation and decreased my axis tilt. And the point of this is that if I wanna go for that 10 pin, I can use a nice straight delivery. So you can also use it as a stroker, which would make it a little bit simpler, but I'm trying to be a little bit more real on how I would do it. So as you can see, if I'm trying to spare my corner pins, I'm decreasing all of my curve and I'm trying to throw it a little straighter. And then I can take out the corners with these and increase my score. All right, that's uh, a little tutorial on the bowling styles in the game. I hope you are progressing through them and let me know if you have any more questions about anything and me and my team will be more than happy to help you.